Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to make a fall wreath. Now, the first thing you want to do when you make a wreath is weave your ribbon through it. This happens to be wired ribbon. You can use wired ribbon, satin ribbon, paper ribbon, any ribbon will do. What you want to do is start from behind and come up, and every time you do this, you want to cover a joint. So you're going to go all the way around your wreath, weaving the ribbon in and out until you come to the end. And when you get to the end, sometimes wire wreaths can be stubborn. I mean wire ribbon. When you get to the end, you're going to come to a joint. You're going to lay a bead of hot glue in that joint and press your ribbon into it and hold it until it's cooled and your ribbon will be secured. You want to do this all the way around your wreath till you come to the end and then you'll do the same thing with the other end of your wreath. Now to embellish this wreath, I put leaves down one side. If you happen to live in a climate that would afford you the possibility of real leaves, that could be really fun to do. The challenge in there would be making sure that you have your wreaths shellacked or sealed in some way. I found paper leaves in a package. You want to start with the bottom leaf and build on top of it so that your very last one will be basically your whole leaf and then I turned the last one up so that it would have a, an, an effect of falling leaves. And then I found a package of little harvest gourds and also seeds from the backyard that were fascinating because they were a pod with a very black seed in it. So once you've gotten your ribbon woven through and you've got your leaves placed, then you want to take your embellishments, whether it's your little gourds or whether it's your little pods, place them around the way you like them, keep working with them until they're exactly the way you want them to be. And then simply take your hot glue gun, put some glue on it, and place it. To make it look even more unique, I also put the little seeds on there, and you can find a lot of those kinds of things. Once I was finished, I made a ribbon from my gold ribbon to, to make a bow. I made a bow from my gold ribbon for the bottom, and then you need to use something. You can use the same ribbon or another ribbon to make a loop for the top so that you can hang your wreath when you're finished. So, that is how we make a harvest or a fall wreath from leaves and gourds and seeds.